Hi there. Welcome to your reading. Uh, everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. And I have two readers for the Recommender Reader shout out and they are Truth Tarot and Nicholas Ashbaugh. Much love and support to them. And hopefully you get a chance to check them out and show them some love and support too. Um, and now let's get on with your reading. Hi Taurus. All right, what they aren't telling you, Taurus. Taurus. What they aren't telling, Taurus. Taurus. Five of Cups, ouch, disappointment, sadness, grief, and loss. Four of Swords, oh, okay. Three of Swords, five, four, three. Five of Coins, why not? Ouch. Two of Cups. Mm. Is this someone that ghosted you? Feels heavy. The Hermit and the King of Wands. Ah, oh, Taurus, get out of there. This is someone that's telling you they're going to be taking some time and, and I mean, I'm going to clarify here, but it, on its face, it feels like someone's like, you know, I really feel like we're meant to be together or I love you. And then they don't say anything. They do the fade and it's because they need to take some time to do some soul searching. Get the hell out of here. King of Wands, they are out and about. This could be male or female, but they're out and about doing their stuff. They're doing stuff. Five of Cups, Four of Swords. All right. Perhaps somebody could be, you know, taking some time. They're just kind of, they've pulled back from the situation. Um, they need they need a break. But the reality of it is they're heartbroken, quite upset. It's just Four of Swords. It doesn't look like you're faring any better over here. We've got disappointment and, and sadness for you as well. This is four swords for, you know, this feels like grief and loss. This feels like disappointment. So this is someone that has left, um, is kind of taking a break on taking things to the next level. They don't really want that commitment. What's this three of swords about Taurus? Perhaps they feel badly about the heartache it's caused. Um, or they feel like, you know, even though it hurts, it's the right thing to do. I, I they, There might be this element that they knew it was kind of going to come to this. The Three of Swords is not a surprise heartbreak. It's kind of like, oh, crap, it's finally here. So it could be that, you know, it was the right thing to do, even though it does hurt. What's this Two of Cups? This Two of Cups. All right, I'm about to eat my words. <laughs> Somebody please hand me some sauce. With the, for the words, for I'm going to eat my hat. So I'm going to get me some dip. For, okay, what's this? Two of cups. Because I think what this is saying is that someone's pulling back because it's the right thing to do right now. Um, perhaps they want to make, they, they realize they need to take the initiative. I'm, I'm kind of hoping because otherwise this is a really crappy thing to do to somebody. You know, we got saying I love you and then ghosting someone. What's this two of cups right here? Taurus. Okay, all right. What's this page of swords? We got the Empress right there. There's Taurus. This is them being in love with Taurus. Unified love. Okay. What's this page of swords? This page of swords. And yet we've got page of swords as far as forward movement on that. So... Yeah, I love you. You're the ideal person for me. I really want this to work out and we can, you know, be together and thrive and and then, but I'm going to stay silent and I'm going to go dark and I'm going to just pull back and maybe even be petty, maybe even give you the silent treatment about forward movement, about how we're going to do this, about working things out. What's this hermit about? This could be passive aggressive, <laughs> passive aggressive behavior. What's this hermit about? See, I'm not all for it. What's this hermit about? Yeah, this is withdrawal from a situation. Even though I love you and I think you're great, this is withdrawal from a situation. Why? Well, 
They think it's the right thing to do, even though they've either caused heartache or they're feeling heartache and they are going, they're going radio silent on how to work this out and, and taking things to the next level. We got the Ace of Pentacles and we got the Chariot. So they are not on board with things moving to the next level. What's this King of Wands about? What's this King of Wands about for Taurus? Okay, so we got the King of Wands and the Magician. This is someone that is wanting to, to pull back because they don't know, they don't want things to go to the next level. They don't want things to work out. They're just not wanting any kind of forward movement and they want to do some soul searching at best. That's what they're telling you. They want to do some soul searching, right? Um, they could be telling you that they love you and they think you're the ideal person and there's this unified love. It could also be that they think things have gotten a little codependent. Someone's gotten a little clingy or needy or, or kind of smother mothering like parent, you know, someone might be taking on more of the parental controlling role. Um, and if that's the case, they want to pull back and kind of think about where this is headed and they are not on board with things moving forward. Even though they might feel like, okay, there's a love there, but this is starting to get out of hand, which is a really difficult balance to have, like to love somebody, but to realize, oh, you're kind of clingy, needy, and codependent. Because if that doesn't get fixed pretty quickly, that starts to erode respect and trust. <laughs> um, I think this is starting to feel like they need to pull back because they realize that you have quite the hold on them. Um, if it's not that, it's that they need to figure out and sort their life and get their own direction. Because people without direction follow other people or other people kind of commandeer them. So this is someone saying, you know, I just, I feel like this is, I, I feel, <laughs> for me, I'm kind of glad because I'm like, I'm, I'm walking back because at first I was like, oh, hell, they're telling you they love you and then they're going to go play the field. But... It's starting to feel like now that they feel like, you know what, I don't want things to progress because I feel like this is starting to get either kind of codependent and I need to figure out my life and be stable on my own and I really need to figure out how to do that. Or, you know, I, I don't want things to move forward and go to the next level because... Yeah, I, I feel like even though... So without the codependency component, this is about, you know, I, I do love you. And I want things to work out, but I need to know that I can do it on my own first. I need to know that I can create that for myself first. I need to know that I can be myself or, or do this myself without someone. I, I need to not need someone. But they don't want things to move forward. They don't want to be an active participant in things moving forward. Maybe they're hoping that just telling you that they love you and that we're doing fine now, we're thriving now. Let's just, what, why do we have to put a label on it? Why do we have to have a plan for forward movement? Or why do we have to have forward movement at all? Can't we just perhaps stay stagnant? But I don't want to make it official. And so they're telling you they need time to think about that. But in reality, they want to be able to do it on their own. For themselves first before they do it as a couple with someone because I think there's this need to know that they can do it by themselves. What's this five of coins about? All right, what else for this five of coins? We got the king of swords. Hi, king of swords. Taurus. What else? This could be Gemini. This could be talking to somebody that you trust about the grief and the sadness and the disconnection. Um, for others of you, we're talking about a 10 of pentacles and then we're talking about a five of coins here. But I don't think this is about someone stealing that from you, like absconding with the, you know, the communal treasure. I don't think that's that. I, this could be talking to someone you trust, whether it's a friend, a lawyer, a doctor, a therapist, father figure, mother figure, um, about your grief and your sadness. This could be saying you need to cut this off and disconnect from this person, Taurus. What else for Taurus? What's this five of coins about? And we got Taurus here again. These two right here can be very restrictive and controlling. This could be very being very strategic with information or the truth. 
And this is about things being restrictive and controlling on the one hand because it's the way things have always been. So we rely on that and we look for that stability and we kind of sanction that because we need some, a bottom line. We need a safety net, right? So this is very restrictive because we do things the way we've done things because we've always done them that way. And that's the way we're going to do them for here and forever. But it's also about faith and about safety and security. So is this saying, here you are outside of a church, sad and despondent and disconnected and down and out and feeling the void. And this is saying, talk to somebody that you trust, particularly clergy about that. It could be for some of you, it doesn't have to be. Um, this could be just advocating in general, talking to someone about the grief and the sadness that you feel because we see that here with the five of cups and the five of coins. Both of those are about disconnection, sadness, and, and the loss of that. And then also not knowing how to rebuild that. Just feeling like you're one down and you can't do it on your own. Hmm. Two fives, vigils. So there's been no forward movement. You two are both in your corners. Page of Swords and the Hermit. This is about both of you being like just down, down for the count. I don't think it was easy for this person. Thank God, because I was loaded for bear in the beginning. I was like, oh, this, this, get the hell out of there. This person's saying, that. no, to be fair, I feel like they aren't having an easy time of it either. But for them, it they feel like it needed to be done. They, I think they're feeling badly about it. But they, they felt like they had to stop the trajectory or the the way where things were headed or the way things were going. It wasn't going to lead to any kind of successful security for you both. It would have turned into staying together because you've been together and this would have taken hold. Um, I feel like there's a bit of codependency here because we've got someone feeling like they need to make, make necessary cuts, even though it's going to be painful. It's the right thing to do because they need to know that they can stand on their own, that they can create their own security. And they're also thinking about what they want. Maybe they recognize that they don't know what they want and they're like, I can't keep going like this because I don't know what I want and I don't want to do this. I don't want to just like all of a sudden get into something where we're just off and running and I don't know if I want that. And I also want to know that I can do it on my own before I do it with somebody else. This could be saying, um, these, both of these are about cutting things off or about disconnection. And this could be saying you need to talk to somebody you trust about those feelings or this, okay, I'm saying this, this could be about disconnecting from the marriage or this committed communal connection that, that this is, you need to either talk to a lawyer or somebody of that capacity about how to cut things off or disconnect from this marriage. Everybody's situation is different. It's going to apply differently. I mean, it's going to resonate differently. For some of you, this is about the need to talk to somebody about a disconnection. This is, for others of you, this is saying disconnect from this situation and do it legally. So, but there is sadness and grief here. And I think this is advocating being decisive and figuring out what your next move is in regards to your security and you moving forward, regardless of if that's talking to someone about your feelings or if that's making decisions about this relationship and how you're going to move forward after it's been dissolved. So either way, this is you need to make take decisive action and you need to be honest with yourself about what the prospects are here. And the fact that this person does not want forward movement towards a secure, you know, committed connection. They're taking a break from the, the this is a breakup. And it doesn't look like there's any reconciliation. So anything that's to be done needs to be done by you. You need to make the decisions. Even though you're in the throes of grief, that's always fun, right? Perfect timing, right? I'm down, I'm out, I'm sad, yet I've got to make these decisions for my best benefit right now when I don't even feel like getting up off the bed. <laughs> Not a good time. I'm sorry, Taurus. That was for Taurus. This person's not going to do it. I mean, it just, they're not. This is about taking initiative 
to resolve things and they're not. This is them going, this is the hermit. Just completely taking some time and this is them pulling back saying I need some time and then this is them, one of two things, taking the time to figure out what they want or I'm, I'm out of here. I'm going to go do my own thing. I don't need time. I already know what I want. I'm just saying that so I can get out. Either way, it's about you needing to disconnect from this situation. This bothers me, though, because we go from the Two of Cups and the Empress, which is basically the ideal commitment and relationship and two people feeling like they're two peas in a pod, to Page of Swords and the Chariot, which is, you know... I love you and I feel like we're thriving or this is saying, look, I don't know how I feel anymore. I feel like this has gotten a bit codependent. But the reality is they don't want forward movement. They don't want, they don't want things to move forward. They don't want a secure, committed connection with you. And so they're saying they're going to take some time to think about it. But then we've got the King of Wands and the Magician here. Okay. Yep. Yep, okay. Eh, it's underwear. Awesome. Freak. <laughs> All right. What else for Taurus? See, that's the thing. It's like on the one, this could be Cancerian, you're dealing with Gemini or Virgo, Libra, Taurus, Gemini. Taurus. This could be somebody on the up and up, but I, I feel like they're like they're telling you whatever, I just need some time, and then they're planning to get the hell out of Dodge. Or they really do feel want the, they don't want things to go any further until they know they can provide for themselves before they provide for the both of you or commit and contribute for the both of you. That's for Taurus. That's odd. Did I turn that? Oh, I turned them upside down. Whoops. Okay. So we got the moon and we've got the tree. So this could be a long-standing connection, if not soulmate slash past life, if you believe in that connection, where it's just a very long-standing connection and someone has come to the crossroads and just doesn't know what they want to do anymore. This is about also someone quite possibly that intuitive connection things being mysterious with a relationship now things kind of like like a perhaps very emotional state interesting emotions are highlighted now though in this specific relationship so uh yeah understatement we've got the five of cups and the five of coins that's not really that's just kind of a confirmation but the the emotions um are very much highlighted right now one of the meanings for this could be over emoting i don't think it's over emoting i think you're just really emotional and going through it so yeah and it's it's over there's a lot of emotions surrounding this long-standing relationship confirmation for taurus This is an ending or it is a reversal of a situation. It is karmic, just like the justice right here. This is karmic. This is things are as they should be, but it's also the to be continued card for me. When I, you know, when it comes up, a lot of times it's to be continued card. This is about reversal. So whatever the situation was, it is now the opposite of that and nobody knows what's gonna happen. Is this fresh? Is this new? I don't feel like it is. I feel like it's inside of a year this happened. This breakup or whatever, this person going dark and withdrawing happened inside of a year. But there's still no movement forward and the future is unknown. A lot of times this is a good luck charm or a good luck omen. It's like things are going to work out, but it's unknown how. So that can cause some people like, okay, I need to know the particulars, you know. But this does speak to an ending without closure for me. 
karmic ending without closure. There's been no forward movement yet. And you're looks like you're stuck in the throes of grief. And there's just been this person is it's like they're taking time indefinitely. And they don't want they're telling you they, they want to think about it, but they don't want it. All right. Taurus, I hope this was helpful. I'm, I wish I had better news. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I hope you find a way to see yourself through this. And I, I wish you luck uh, and healing with this. Okay. All right. Uh, you take care. I hope to see you in the next reading.